Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan. Today we are playing Follow New Vegas for the PC. Um, and we are searching for a lost son of How a rancher. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. <laughs> so as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. <laughs> the White Glove Society you see human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. <laughs> it's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment. Oops. I ought to have you arrested. You'll kindly mind your tongue or we shan't speak any further. Who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. I was investigating someone else, a man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Ooh, Mortimer. Mortimer, Mortimer, Mortimer. There was something that I could have helped with. Good day. How may I be of service, sir? I've heard your group dines on human flesh. Ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Oh, I don't want to pick this option, but uh, I too know what it is to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. <laughs> I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. <laughs> the main course is a person? Yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. 
He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do, but no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. What did you do? I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. Let's talk about something else, I think. Indeed. Let's. Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Private investigator? Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? I'm on an investigation, too. I'm hoping we can help each other. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Hmm. Goodbye. Indeed. Okay, so hey. they're eating them. Isn't that delicious? Um, yeah. Oh God. Over here. You like that? I will punch you right in the face. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Hmm. Oh my god, it's David Caruso. That's a good one. So, what's the dealio? Why did I get uh, attacked? Steam room, four PM. Ooh, this is becoming quite the whodunit. Quite the whodunit. Oh, I just checked the time and it's 4.19 p.m. Hello, John Z. Who are you? I'm just someone who found a matchbook. Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? He's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Hmm. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. We're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. 
The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. No. Oh. That doesn't sound like a very good plan. Um, you know, Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. No. Oh. Where are they keeping dead? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Hmm. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Hmm. Late. Yes, yes, yes. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks. And then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Goodbye. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait. Did you hear something? Were you followed? For the Brotherhood! Mm, gosh. That was, uh, right out of left field, absolutely. Hmm. This guess, or this quest is getting uh, quite intriguing. And that is why we are going to make that an episode. Next time on the program, we will finish this quest, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching, Internet people.